Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and the Rob Phone to Din series is continuing. Um, and yeah, as you can see, uh, uh, see this is far enough back that Nice to Meet You was sure was uh, translated as Show It to Him, which, sure, okay. Um, you know, I, I kind of get the, the idea, it, you know, just like a, you know, a round opening greeting kind of thing, but it's no nice to meet you is a, is a very close to like literal translation. So you know, I feel like uh, when you're you've got a game that uses tells across you know internationally, having the uh, having like super literal t uh, translations is a good thing. I personally am all for you know decent embellishment in other uh, tr in you know other translations. I, I like when things sound like they are, you know, when words sound like they are spoken by people who know the language they're, uh, they're speaking in. But, yeah, for, for you know, team games, clear communication is a must. But I am in my uh, Animation Colors gun cannon, which is, of course, super bright. And I just got uh, wrecked by a couple of things, including a prototype Gundam. Again, this is the era of the double sabers. So, pardon the chair creaking. Um, it's a different chair, too. You, you probably haven't heard the other one squeak in a while, because I haven't had it in a while. But, uh, let's see. But vintage chair, uh, vintage video, so vintage squeaks, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is uh, December of 2018, incidentally. So, but yeah, I... Uh, this is before I was a super great shot with uh, ch uh, with charging beam rifles. I something I don't know why, just something about being able, well, um, uh, being able to move with the Gelgig lets me adjust my uh, uh, p my shot with the left analog and the right, or instead of the right if my hand is shaky, which it frequently is. And I was not paying any attention to the support fire, but it was paying attention to me. So okay, and didn't quite get it. I don't even know if it's possible to really arc a shot over that hill like that, but I sure wanted to try. I did not succeed. Let's see, that that hit a shield. I've gotten better at aiming around shields over the years, too. You know, like I said uh, yesterday, it is it is nice to look at these and realize, yeah, I actually have gotten better at this game. I'm still, you know, I, there are still definitely, you know, gaps in my skill and knowledge you can drive a truck through, but unfortunately sometimes uh, the enemies do, but I was trying for, uh, I was trying to practice for the ranked matches, which uh, st uh, should be underway by the time you watch this, and I, uh, the, I tried a bunch of different things, I tried, uh, I had okay luck with the when the and the freak knocked built for melee defense primarily, uh, but here's a shock at 400. The best thing I had was the early production Gelgoog. You know, it is it's not necessarily the best tool for every uh, occasion, but it is definitely the one I can use the best. So, you know. Uh, Go with your uh, go with your best suit and good luck is the best advice I have for those. I'm not great with the colony drop site map. Uh, it just and it seems like most of the time on that map uh, for the the brawls, it you end up fighting outside a lot more than you do in the uh, in regular matches. So honestly, that's fine. You know, just put me on an open uh, on an open plane with things to shoot at and I will figure it out. Let's see, I missed that shot. I forget, they may... I don't remember if they've modified the range of the gun cannon's rifle over the years. I think they did give it just a touch more. I think it still comes in just under the range of the uh, Zaku uh, 1 sniper type, which... Does that still have a range of 900? I think it does. Either way, that is, to my knowledge, still one of the longest uh, weapon ranges in the game. So, yeah. I... Uh, Man, I need to review weapon ranges and see if we've got anything else that uh, works along those lines anymore. There's that proto. Managed to uh, uh, put a stop to it after the rest of the team wore it down. And yeah, just using my uh, my usual gun cannon tactics of uh, uncharged shots usually after the cannon. Not always. If you can get a shot that makes a kill, take it. 
This uh, they have sh or they've shortened basically all the overheats I think uh, over the years though, so I'm going to be without a beam rifle for a good bit. Um, but managed to shoot over number three's uh, head and hit the person in front of them, so that's good. Yep, and here comes that's got to be the proto. Yeah, I'm so I'm already sending need support, which is now that's kind of interesting because that's probably I'm guessing that that's a more literal thing than need help here. Of course, need help here is not the uh, is the default. It's support me, which is which I don't think anybody much uses anymore. I don't anyway. Um, I switch to uh, need help here and back me up just because support me. Support, I mean, support me and back me up both uh, sound like commands, but the, uh, but honestly, um, uh, I, I feel like, uh, support me is just a little bit too blunt for whatever reason. That's just my, uh, rationalization. But yeah, I do tend, I kind of tend to get whiny with the back me up tell once I've, uh, called need help here a few times and nobody shows up. But that's just, you know, that's just me. Um, I think I may have mentioned it a few videos ago, but I, my Facebook sent me a bunch of reminders of various things I'd posted, and it sent me a thing about uh, GBO1 where I was saying, you know, I wish people would uh, back up their supports a little bit more, uh, a little bit more regularly, and uh, of course, you know, basically, uh, basically instead of, instead of you know. Uh, figuring that out, the the consensus is generally uh, uh, come to the uh, gone to the uh, idea that support is just a weak class. Which no, it's just you know there are specific roles this game is designed for, and support is designed ironically to be supported. So, but no, I did send thanks since they did come and support me, and it made a big difference. But that's, uh, that's also something um, for people who are newer to the game. Uh, when you see my quick swap menu come up, uh, you may notice that uh, there's only four positions. The eight position quick swap was added about the time the Palace Athena was, a little bit after that, because it was the first thing with so many weapons that it was just impossible to use well without a greater number of quick swaps. Actually, that's not entirely true. The uh, Full Armor Thunderbolt Gundam, which was like the Week 2, I think, uh, banner, was very, very hard to use for a long time uh, without uh, without enough quick swaps. On the other hand, um, but yeah, you'll notice I'm not using my grenades really at all. I'm pretty sure Gun Cannon does already have them, but because I would have had to take Vulcans off the quick swap, and Vulcans are good for quick emergency kills, I, you know, didn't put them on my uh, quick swap menu. But uh, we did manage to pull it off. I managed to tackle that proto Gundam at the last second and keep myself alive and not cost the team important points at an important juncture. I uh, got top assist and uh, top damage, which, you know, two and two, I, I think that's not bad for a support, especially back at this phase of the game. So that's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Also, I've had a bunch of different people lately ask me um, how it is I swap weapons so quickly. And if you hold the weapon select button, you don't have to wait for the quick swap menu to come up as long as you're holding the button and hit the quick swap combo it should work. So that is, uh, that is pretty much my, uh, my secret there. Um, not exactly a secret, but just something that, you know, may only come to you if you've been playing this game, you know, since the dawn of time. But yeah, that's, that's an important thing to know. And I also forgot, and I'm finding out that, uh, as I, uh, as I, uh, watch, you know, the tail end of the recording here, as I, uh, do the outro that this was actually one of the uh, original rated matches from a long time ago and uh, yeah at the time this was recorded I was in 21,000th uh, overall I I forget what my all-time uh, best has been but I think it's a little bit better than that <laughs>